My name is Will Heeman, and right now we're standing in uh, the actual original greenhouse that my grandparents built. Heeman's is a garden center and strawberry farm serving the London area. Being a retail farm, you can have a conversation about uh, how local photo food is grown, and that's really important. You need to carve out some time to be able to step out or step back and be able to look at the bigger picture. And if you are too focused on the day-to-day -day, you know, that we're growing the product for today, that doesn't allow you the opportunity to really step back and see the vision. Doing horticulture farming is uh, very intensive. We are growing up to 3,000 different crops in one facility. Knowing and monitoring the cost of production is the most important thing. When we're putting in the irrigation system or the drip irrigation underneath the plant, you need to know how much per square footage that is, how much does the installation cost, our cost per plant, our cost to put that plant in the ground, the fertilizer, and so we can calculate uh, our cost of production and be able to figure out our retail cost on that because basing your cost on market averages, that is a recipe for disaster. It's really hard as a business owner to look at the future and decide to make an investment in the business rather than in yourself if you don't know how that's going to uh, play out. We've done our succession plan and we have a clear path forward for the next 30 to 40 years is really helpful because now instead of kind of holding back or being in a holding pattern not sure what we're going to be doing, we've been investing like crazy and, and we wouldn't be able to do that if the succession plan wasn't in place. When we look at our plans, we're looking on a one, five, and 10 year focus. And that just means always planning ahead because for greenhouse production, we need to line up all of our um, inputs ahead of time. And with strawberries, we're looking at, are we gonna be increasing our acreage and what, what we're going to be growing? Um, but on a five year plan, which is what we really work a lot on, is um, for us, we're in a period of expansion and growth because we have the next generation in place. Your business plans and your financial plans need to go hand in hand because you really wanna be keenly aware of what the financial plan is and what, uh, what that's gonna look like for putting together our plan for the, the next year. We're always working on a budget that's based on um, our previous sales and then what worked and what didn't. Horticulture specifically, we I just have um, a need for a lot of hands. We're very proud of our uh, employer retention, but at the same time, we feel that having somebody in-house and having a plan and having very formal uh, HR policies has helped us to be able to attract not only good talent, but the right talent. We have two different consultants who walk the fields and we get their thoughts on what's going on in the field so that we um, aren't just relying on our own knowledge because you can only be as good as the knowledge that you have. So we're constantly seeking out uh, and trying to uh, go to different programs and different courses and uh, conferences around the world that will help us to be better at continuously learning new things and uh, to be able to pick up new traits. We find that we get new uh, knowledge that we can bring back to be better growers and to be better uh, business people and that's been a real key to our success over the last uh, 25, 30 years. Being a, an entrepreneur or a business uh, mind to really look at things from a nuts and bolts, dollars and cents um, level rather than just kind of a gut feel. Because we're the grower, we're the retailer, and in this day and age, people's expectations of retailers are very high and all, the expectations are always rising.